I saw this headline and it really resonated with me. In 2008, the world saw the most serious economic collapse since the Great Depression. They're going to start at one branch, pull the cash out, take it inside the bank. This is a team of FDIC agents preparing to seize a bank outside Chicago. 7% here, a loss of 37 points or so. Apple shares are just getting hammered this morning. Let's talk about the speed with which we are watching this market deteriorate. 2008, it took a toll on a lot of people. I know it did for me. I lost my job, my retirement savings, well, plummeted. And, you know, a lot of Americans lost their homes. I'm not sure if you were affected, but I know it was a stressful time for me. But there was a silver lining. It's actually why I became a real estate broker. And prior to wearing that hat, I was a bank executive. And when the uh, sky was falling, no banks were hiring people. So I had to reinvent myself. So that financial crisis was a contributing factor to the silent financial crisis that is going on right now. Most Americans believe they will need to acquire more than $1 million to retire comfortably. But many, including a significant number of older people, are far from reaching that savings goal. Although the Great Recession impacted the savings of many Americans, it had a major hit to the youngest of baby boomers, and that is per the Center for Retirement Research. Am I in your space? You guys make a whole big mess. You know, filming in your office is so much easier than filming outside because you don't have to deal with bird poop. You know, I did say I was going to mix things up on this channel a little bit. You know, in addition to the financial toll that the Great Reset took on everybody, people are living longer. Today's 65-year-old is expected to live 20 years longer per the Social Security Administration. So with this unprecedented gift of longevity comes great excitement and a big price tag. Unlike our parents and grandparents, today's retiree face a vastly different retirement landscape. New survey from financial services firm Credit Karma shows 27% of all Americans have no retirement savings, including 401ks and Roth IRAs. Per the National Council on Aging, most retirees don't have the finances to withstand a major financial shock, like a loss of income or long-term health care, major health-related issues. So are you prepared? I've run at least a half a dozen different retirement calculators. There's a bunch of them online. And I run them over and over and over again. And they all give you different answers. You know, I'm 60 now, so I worry about retirement. And I'm trying not to worry, so let me rephrase that. I'm being proactive. And I'm planning and planning and planning and planning because worrying is not going to help me. Yes, besides planning for retirement, I'm also trying to work on a positive mindset these days because there's a lot of things going on in the world that stress me out. So that's something else I'm working on besides not starving when I'm old. You know, I came to the park for some peace and quiet. That's now ended. Yes, I have a group of people coming in. Okay. Those people are getting married over there. That was the quickest wedding I've ever seen. They had that thing done in five minutes. But right now, let's just keep the discussion on the pending financial crisis that's happening right now that nobody is talking about. The retirement crisis. Older Americans, troubling lack of retirement savings and more. So in addition to these statistics, Credit Karma also found about one in five respondents 59 and older don't even have retirement accounts. 
That's the highest share of any generation. Why are so many older Americans not prepared financially? According to the Census Bureau, 43% of people ages 55 to 64 have zero. Big Fat Goose said, zero retirement. And for those who do have a retirement savings account, they estimate that the median amount saved is only $200,000. And if we take a look at working age people, 32% of those don't have any savings either. Without a retirement account, most retirees will rely solely on Social Security. And the average amount out there for Social Security that people take home is about $1,800. And the average household of a 65-year-old, their expensive, their household expenses is about $4,000. To make ends meet, most retirees are working into their 70s. And it's projected that people will work as late as 75 years of age. 11% of retirees will do that by 2026. 11%. That's up 5% from 1996. So what can we do about all this? Well, there's no one size fits all, but the key is starting early. So if you're a early, younger person watching this, you gotta start early. Put it this way, I would be retired right now had I would start saving in my 20s. But nobody gave me that advice in my 20s. I'm not so sure I would have listened, but it's so important. You know, starting your savings in your 20s has significantly more value than starting to save in your 30s. Consider this. If you invested $10,000 at the age of 20 with a return of 8%, you'd have a little over $242,000 by the time you're 60. Now, if you waited and invested the very same amount but started at 30, you'd only have a little over $100,000 at the same age. So, by the time you're 60, that $10,000, it's worth $133,000 more by starting in your 20s. That's huge. So tell that to your kids and drive it home because the likelihood that they're gonna have Social Security later is not looking too good. The Social Security Administration, on my statement, says they plan on reducing the amount of Social Security I get by 20% starting in 2034. This survey comes as lawmakers grapple with the health of Social Security. It is on track to be depleted in just 10 years. So how exactly would that hurt retirees? I was gonna sit down next to the water's edge, finish recording this. But I'm not so sure about what's in that water. You know, people are living longer. The cost of living is rising. And really, the only way to combat this is to spend less money and save more. Because the longer you live, the more money you're going to need just for basic living expenses. Once you factor in the rising cost of health care, we certainly have the potential for running out of money. Another factor that will affect Social Security in the future, well, millennials are having fewer children. That means fewer people working and paying into Social Security taxes. All right, so how can we tackle this problem? Well, while it's not fun or sexy, just tighten your belt, spend less, cut out the fat. Things like not eating out, at least as much, maybe only once a month. You know, all those subscriptions you have, get rid of them. I mean, I have like eight of them. You're probably not using them anyways. Cut the cable, just have internet, start streaming. Those are just a few things that you can do. I mean, right there, you could probably knock out 500 bucks a month. Depositing $500 a month over a 10-year period will eventually provide you with a $78,000 return. 
and that's just simple interest. The bottom line is you have to focus on it and make it a priority. You have to make it a priority. Just start doing it. And even if you're starting late, putting something in an account will give you peace of mind. It's certainly better than having zero in an account. The average American is working longer in life and putting retirement off longer, either out of necessity, some out of preference. However, factors like health issues or having to stay home to take care of family members makes it difficult for people to work later in life. Because you certainly can't save if you're not working. I'm sure I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, but sometimes it's nice to have a reminder. I know it is for me. I can lose track of things and not really focus on certain things. And now that I'm getting older, I'm laser focused on it. And if you're lucky enough to work for somebody that has a 401k, make sure you're contributing as much as you can, especially if your employer has a match. I'm self-employed, so I don't have that luxury. It's all on me. Now you can go online and Google retirement calculator and you'll find all kinds of them. And I would suggest that you start running them. Run scenario after scenario with the, if, with the amount that you can afford to save might drive you crazy, but you gotta start somewhere. And having a small retirement account is much better than having no retirement account. Well, I hope you got some value out of this video, and I hope that I've inspired you to start saving if you haven't done so already. And until next time, I hope I see you again on my next video. And I'm gonna head home and walk to Shroomin because we need our exercise, especially now that I'm 60. I need to start taking better care of myself because medical bills, as you age, are obscenely expensive. Thank you.